And we begin tonight with the fight against the coronavirus and the spread of the Delta variant. The U.S. is now averaging more than 140,000 new COVID cases a day, which is up 64% from just two weeks ago. In Alabama, the healthcare system is on the brink of collapsing. As of this morning, there were only two ICU beds in the entire state. Cases there are now the highest that they have been since the pandemic began. And because of the spread of the Delta variant, President Biden is expected to announce as early as tomorrow that most Americans will need to get a booster shot. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. I'm Paula Evan. Lisa is off. And medical experts had been predicting that we would need this all along. WBZ's Louise Moeller is live in Brockton tonight with more on the plan to dole out this third shot. Louisa? Well, Paula David, a lot of healthcare providers are still waiting for guidance from the federal government, but it could mean remobilizing larger vaccination sites like the Shaw Center here in Brockton. Good job. A nurse gives out COVID vaccines at a small clinic inside the Brockton Neighborhood Community Health Center. A different picture from June when the National Guard was doling out thousands of doses inside the city's Shaw Center. Approximate number, it's in the a lot of thousands. Now, Shiree Hares Alexandri, the health center's assistant director of practice management, has the challenge of figuring out how to give patients a third dose or booster shot. That would be quite another undertaking. Sources tell CBS News booster shots will be recommended for the majority of Americans eight months after a second shot of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines once the vaccines are fully approved by the FDA. That's expected to happen in September, and healthcare workers, nursing home residents, and older Americans could be the first to get a third dose. The federal government is exploring everything we must do to keep Americans safe, including the possibility of boosters. During a visit to Lawrence this morning, U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary Xavier Becerra advised Americans to stay tuned. But Dr. Daniel Karitskis, chief of the Division of Infectious Diseases at Brigham and Women's Hospital, anticipates the booster would be the same vaccine you got previously. We know that giving a third shot increases the antibody levels. We're assuming that higher antibody levels mean better protection. The case for boosters built off data from Israel. They're seeing declines in the degree of protection from the vaccine, particularly among uh, people in uh, older age groups. Hairs Alexandri says if a booster is recommended, the Brockton community will go for it. With Delta on the horizon and just taking, ravaging our communities, I think the response will be positive. As for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, a booster is expected to be needed, but federal health officials are still waiting for more data. Live in Brockton, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.